Hello, everybody! Welcome back to the episode of Ark Survival Evolved. Gerard Gaming here on the Gaming Evolved server. How's everybody doing today? I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. All right, guys. So, I'm I, sorry. I thought my parasaur was having an issue over there. What is going on over there? <laughs> it looks like there's more than or parasaur. There's more than one Bronto over there. It looks like. Yes, there is. All right. Anyways. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> you might be wondering why I have my shirt, pants, and hel helmet off. Well, because somebody came over here and decided to prank me and paint me. It looks like they just took the flag <laughs> and painted me. I don't know. You know the spider flag? But, uh, yeah, somebody decided they wanted to paint me as a prank. So I kind of came out here, uh, looked at the sign here. It says, press K, a monster I don't, attacked, attached. I don't know what that word is. I don't know to you and now you have have it for one week have fun i don't know who that is but uh yeah anyways so they didn't take off any of my helmet or clothes or anything so i was very confused <laughs> um so because you know if i had my helmet and uh helmet and that kind of stuff on you can't you can't see it really <laughs> so anyways all right so what do we got going on over here Oh, I know what was happening. Jack Spyro wanted to mate his with mine. Anyway, so... Um... Plan for today. So I asked you guys in the last episode what you guys thought about what we should do for, um... For the Megapithecus Arena. And you guys had some ideas. Um... So, and, you know... Some of them were bring a Quetzal through. You can't bring any kind of flyers through on the, uh, the Battle Arenas. Uh, unfortunately, that's that's kind of a thing on those boss arenas, battle arenas. <laughs> Sorry, my eye edged. Um, so unfortunately, you can't bring any kind of flyers through the the boss arenas, and um, I guess the the next thing was a, a Pariser, um, and I looked it up, and that is actually a great idea. So, oh by the way, I found those holoscope attachments inside of uh, red drops inside of the swamp cave. How amazing is that, right? Um, so building the uh, the platform set on the Pariser, um, the only thing with that is that the um, they don't currently allow uh, turrets on sh the platforms. So like the uh, the bull the auto turrets and the uh, the plant species X turrets, they don't allow those on platform saddles. So I'm gonna ask the guys and the growl on the server and I'm gonna ask you guys what you guys think about uh, enabling that option for us to do that um, because I mean that sounds like a good plan I mean we could put rocket turrets on there but the thing is is that we have to be mounted on those and they only do I think uh, I was looking up the uh, the stats on those rocket turrets um, I googled it you know sometimes I google those things and I looked at the stats on those rocket turrets, and it looks like some of them end up, uh, they, some of them? Wow, why can't I talk today? They do the same amount of damage as a primitive rocket launcher, um, but they shoot faster and they don't have durability, so that's the only benefit to them. So they do eventually do more damage than a primitive rocket launcher, and they don't break. Uh, I was looking for a saddle here. <laughs> uh, cardinal saddle. Um, so that's there is advantages to having them, but I don't know they they do I don't know how much damage they actually do um, But it's the same as a primitive rocket launcher, so I don't know it might be a thing might not be a thing So I don't know let me know what you guys think if we should enable the turrets On the platform saddles or not if you guys think that's cheaty if that's a cheaty way of doing it Then let me know if you guys don't think it's a cheaty way of doing it And you think that turrets should be allowed on saddles, which I think they should I personally think they should be allowed on saddles like why can't you build a turret on a saddle? Does it make sense to me? Does that make sense to you guys? So, but anyways, I won't try to convince you guys. You guys make up your own mind. Let me know what you think. But in the meantime, what we're going to do is we are going to make ourselves a battle paraser. <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to give you a level. I just totally hit the wrong button on that one. Whoops. <laughs> I went to hit the movement speed. Um... So we're gonna give, give. We're gonna, we're gonna get these guys to follow me. We're gonna mate these guys up, and we're gonna see what kind of, um, 
what kind of parasaur we can get out of them. So Big Rig's a female over here. All right, they are close enough. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and mate these two up, and we'll see if we can get a uh, a baby parasaur and see if we can get it 100% imprinted. So. Um, I do believe I have all the kibble that we might need. Um, I'll double check and make sure I did grab some Anki eggs. I was on here earlier, so I can s grab some Anki eggs. So, um, yeah, we'll do that. So, as soon as the baby's born, I'll be right back. So, I'll see you guys in a bit. Alright, guys, we're back. And she's gonna poop out a baby for us. She's gonna poop out a baby parasaur for us. Do it. Do it. And, oh, it's, there it is. <laughs> Look at this thing. <laughs> oh, come here. I can't get you. Well, let me imprint on you. Oh, uh, aren't you adorable? Let's go ahead and put some berries on you here. Let's drop your spoiled meat. All right, sweet. Come over here, little baby parasite. It's the ugliest creature ever. <laughs> oh, you were so slow. Why don't you just, yep, yeah, just come on. Oh my gosh, they are so slow. <laughs> Alright, let's check out his stats right now. Alright, stats on it are 6,800 health, uh, 870 stamina, 1,200 weight, 255 melee damage, and 100% movement speed. So, you know, it's, it's uh, you know, <laughs> it's a Parasur. You know, they're, they're not the greatest. Uh, so, what we're going to do with this guy is... We're gonna make a battle platform or battle quest, battle quest, battle parser out of him. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and get this guy raised up. We'll go ahead and see if we can find a, uh, a platform saddle for him. Um, I know we have blueprints for him somewhere. I just gotta figure out which one we need, um, where the best one is. I mean, obviously the best one should be at the community base. Oh, look at you! All right, when do you want care? By the way. Oh, eight minutes. Okay. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead, go up, get the kibble going, get all that stuff ready, uh, do all the, uh, the, <laughs> the, uh, imprinting, there we go, I couldn't think of what it was called, and, uh, we'll see if we can get this guy raised up and see what kind of stats we get out of him, so, alright, the whole thing takes about, uh, two hours, I think it said, on the Dodo Dex app, so yeah, any more eggs? Oh yes, another egg, thank you. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead, get this done, and uh, yeah, as soon as we get him all raised all the way up, I guess we'll be right back. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Alright guys, we're back, and we have Mikasa here. <laughs> it almost sounds like Mikasa, like my house. <laughs> Did you think about that? Just... Uh, I didn't think about that until just now, but anyway, so Mikasa is the name of a, um, it's a Japanese battleship. <laughs> I was looking up battleship names, and I like that one. All right, so we got a hundred percent imprint on her. Um, we'll see here. What did she want? She wanted a couple kibbles, lots of walks, and the last thing she wanted was Dimetrodon kibble, and we had some. Thank gosh for that, because. Um, Mago has a uh, Dimetrodon kibble farm going on over near her base. So, stats on her are 10,944 health, almost 11,000 health, 870 stamina for oxygen, food nobody cares about, <laughs> 1931 weight, 403 melee damage, and 160% movement speed. So, not bad, kind of slow compared to our other ones, but uh, it's got pretty good melee damage. So let's go check her out. We got. A, oh, I also made a platform saddle. It's just a primitive one. Um, we didn't have any blueprints for any better ones, so let's go ahead and check it out. 1800 melee damage. That's not bad. Um, that's actually probably mate boosted as well. Now that I think about it, I wonder if that is mate boosted. Get out of the way. Yeah, see, we're doing 1,400 because we don't have the mate boost. All right, so, you know, 1,400 damage without the mate boost at 400% melee damage. Yikes, that's pretty bad. But anyways, so let's go ahead. So that means, like, 100% melee damage on one of these guys is, like, um, 200, <laughs> 250 or something like that. It's pretty bad. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and do some leveling up with her off camera because I'm pretty sure leveling up a Parasaur would be the most boring thing in the entire world for you guys. Because, <laughs> I don't know, it just seems like it wouldn't be that exciting. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do some leveling up off camera with her 
And uh, yeah, as soon as I do that, I'll be right back. So I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, guys, we're back, and we got a few levels on the uh, on Mikasa here. <laughs> got her up to level 195. Um, I didn't really kill a whole bunch of things. I really just went around and knocked her out, knocked down a whole bunch of trees and bushes and berries and stuff. Um, that was kind of the quickest way to get her levels. Uh, so if you see here, we're doing 1,500 damage right now. So we got her up to 30,000 health. Which is a crazy amount. This is that's the only dino we have that has that much health. I don't even think uh, the Bronto over there has that much health. And uh, 437 melee damage. So I'll keep her around 30,000 health and keep pumping up her melee damage. Um, she's got a lot of healing to do now. <laughs> but yeah, so there you go. We got our new battle ready Pariser. Um, and then in the next episode, we're going to have to build all of the stuff on her. Um, I don't really have time to do it today. It's going to take a lot of work because I have nothing prepped for it. We're going to do metal structures. We're going to need some generators. We're going to need some auto turrets. We're going to need all the bullets for those auto turrets too. So it's going to be a lot of work to get all that stuff done, but we will do it. But it's going to have to be in the next episode. So if you guys like this episode, make sure you press the like button. It helps me out so much. Also, guys, thank you so much for all the support of the previous videos. I really appreciate it. So... Also, if you have not subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe. You guys can see the rest of the series. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye!